good for change, plus change for good. I mean, I got a reputation that's misunderstood. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy Matt from Fishing Drones. I love to fish and I love to drone, so I thought, why not combine the two? Oh, what was that? Oh, oh, got him. Oh my God, it's a big one. 24 hours in a day. What the fuck you gonna say? Pick a lane, man, you gotta choose one. It's what they used to tell me every day. Caught a few along the way. Don't be afraid if you gotta lose one. I'm trying to take it higher. The boy is on fire. He preaching to the choir. You know that. Never been a liar. The boy is on fire. I'll take it to the wire. You know that. So it's pretty early right now, it's like 8 a.m. Today, I'm gonna switch it up. I finally got some time to fish, and I wanna do some pike fishing. I wanna catch some pike. So I'm gonna go to a few spots that I know of, fish for maybe like three, four hours, and it's a bass spot too. They got bass in there as well, so it might be multi-species there. The weather is beautiful right now. It's like 70, maybe mid 60s, 65 to 70. It's supposed to be in the high 70s today, so it's it's beautiful right now, so I can't resist. Not gonna talk much. Today's a multi-species day for the most part, but aiming more for that pike. Aiming more for that pike. Let's get to it. I've been seeing all over these fishing forums, people catching these bass with the chatterbait. Just saying it's in season, this, it's, it's good. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't been catching anything recently. It's been pretty bad for me, which is why I'm resorting to catching pike. I feel like it's easier for me. And for the first time in a while, I'm actually gonna throw it on a spinning rod. I normally throw it on a bait caster. Man, it's so nice out here. Feels like it's some like early Florida morning. Feels good for some fall weather. Coffee in the left hand, poles in the right hand, ducks all around me. Well, geese. They need to get out the way though, because I'm trying to fish. First cast of the morning. Duck scared me. How did it fly out the water like that? Got one. Pike, baby. Pike. <laughs> nice. Off the chatterbait. It's pretty cool. Pike day came in as a success. And he's not the biggest, but I mean, pretty fairly decent. These aren't good. I'm gonna have to go back to the car. Yeah, that's a nice, decent one, at least to play with, you know what I mean? Nothing too big, hit real quick over here. All right, come on, go ahead. Took off over there, look at him go. Very nice, look at that, guys. First, uh, what was it, first within three casts, maybe? Got one off the chatterbait, chartreuse color. That's, uh, it's nice, but real quick, I'm gonna leave my poles here. And I'm gonna go back to the car and grab a different um, set of pliers, cause uh, I don't like holding the I don't like holding fish with that uh, type of utility pliers. I don't like that. I only use that to cut line and stuff like that. God damn it! Somebody's over here walking with their dog. I don't want them to take their take my pole. So let me wait till he pass, and then I'm gonna go to the car and get the different get the different different grippers. I'm gonna, while he uh, passes, let me take a couple casts so I don't look like I'm doing anything weird. So over here just standing in the middle of a field. <laughs> right, I guess the grippers could wait for a little bit. Let me just cast a couple more times. Ooh, got another one. This one's a little bit decent. Eh, smaller actually. But at least the fish are biting. I'm gonna have to definitely get the grippers now. <laughs> He's a small guy. Let's release him now. Oh, he's right there. Should be good. 
Let's see him. Hold on. Let me uh, let me move him. If I still see his body, yeah, it's right there. I think. Come on. There he goes. Now he's out. Nice. Be out here saving fish. All right. Let me go to the car and get the pliers. Come on, ducky, ducky, duckies. Imagine I got attacked. Like those videos on YouTube. I would still post it too. I wouldn't even like, be ashamed. I love that type of humor. Especially if one asks for it. Like there was no reason for me to even be that close. <laughs> These grippers. Put it just like that on my keychain. All right, let's get to let's get to fishing. All right, let's see. Let me get hemmed up. Yep. I think I got one. Yeah, it's a little one. It's better. Yeah, that's another one, but that's a small guy. Why, why you keep. There you go, you broke through it. There you go, look at him swimming. Alright, hopefully, all that is solid grass. It looks like it. Alright, nice. Alright, this spot looks pretty nice. Damn, I should have brought my sunglasses. Should have never threw it over there. Ooh, there's one. I think it's a decent one too, guys. As soon as he hit it, and my drag too is like... Yeah, that's a decent one. <laughs> nice. But you're not getting uh, away on me. Nice. Yeah, that's a decent one. There we go. It's about two pounds. Two pound pike. All right, let's put it back in the water. That was a nice catch. As soon as I saw it hit it, I was like, oof. Let's just get her breathing real quick in the water. Nah, you don't got yeah, there you go. You never let that fish turn around on its back. It'll be fine. Once he wakes up, I can smack it with the pole too and it'll go through all the uh the gunk and whatnot. Alright. That was a pretty good one right there. Nice uh, two pound uh, pike or pickerel or northern pike. I don't know, man. I'm not gonna lie, I never know the difference. The way he hit that, too, hopefully I could uh, zoom in all nice and uh, he made a big splash and everything. And the drag, too, he was taking some drag with him. I was like, wow, look at you go. He ain't even, oh yeah, he's still right there. Let me move him around. There you go. <laughs> oh, damn. He just woke up. I was like, why is he still there? I was like, what the hell? I was about to make a comment like, see, he's gone. And then I looked, I was like, wait, he's not gone. <laughs> Man, that sun's killing me. I should have definitely grabbed some shades when I ran back to the car to grab the grippers. About to cast a couple more times over here and then uh, push on down. Hey, stay, stay away from the left side. Go a couple times this way, center, maybe one or two to the right. And... Oh, got one. This one's uh, not that bad of one. I don't see it's two pounds. I say like a pound and a half or something. Oh, no, don't lose him. 
Oh, there's another one. This one's really not that big, so I'm not gonna weigh them, but that's what's up. Go ahead, little fish, live on. Grow on. I said I wanted a pike day, and a pike day I got. The fishing god said, uh, ask and you shall receive. Let's see if we pull out any more pickerel or pike, northern pike, whatever you want to call it. There's one. I don't think it's a big one, though. He's fighting. <laughs> now, I think that was the first cast right over here. They're loving this chatterbait, man. I'm telling you. you if the fish are loving it, then I'm loving it. It'd be cool to catch a four pound bass in here. All right, maybe they just don't want the chatterbait. Let's do one to the left real quick and then uh, try the square bill. We'll do the chartreuse color square bill. See if that works on them. Well, like I said, oh, what was that? Oh, oh, got him. Oh my God, it's a big one. Guys, it's a big one. Big one, guys. He hit it, and then... This is the fish we was talking about, guys. This is him. Oh, and I snagged him. He didn't even bite. <laughs> he hit it, and then I guess he swiped at it, and I got him from behind. Fuck yeah, I don't care. Still mine. <laughs> Maybe not even. Yeah. Two point two eight. Two point two eight. It's a nice one. Let me get another picture real quick. Alright. Let's put it back in the water. That guy he he was aggressive. Hit him pretty good hit him. Hit the lure pretty hard. Missed it. Swiped it. <sighs> And, uh, there you go. All right, he's good. All right, look at that. Two, uh, two two-pounders. Can't go wrong with that.